Hi, have you ever had anything paranormal happen in your life? Something that you could not explain? I'm asking because, you know, a lot of us have some experiences and we don't feel like we can talk to a lot of people or like there's actually no one to talk to or no one will understand or even if you tell they want to send you to a nut house. Well, the community that I have on my YouTube channel is actually like pretty strong and they have like different beliefs and, you know, please share your, your experiences because in this video I will tell mine and it's actually been a life changing for me. Like, uh, I had one experience and after that just there's continued the chain of events, I don't know if it was coincidental or not, but boy, did it change my life. <laughs> so, yeah, if you have anything paranormal that happened in your life, please share in the comments and I will share my experience. It's actually means a lot to me because uh, after that, a lot of things happened and, and one thing that was like really amazing you know, is, is regarding the Ubis. So, yeah, I'll just tell you about it <laughs> now. Uh, anyway, so like I was visiting my grandparents and they live like a way, like, well, they live in the city, but they have another place, like a cottage house, and it's like isolated, like look really far from from the city. It's like you know, in the forest and stuff, and and the village, is like you know, like probably twelve houses or so, and it was it was probably like autumn. So autumn time, it's a bit cloudy, dark, nighttime. Uh, people are either sleeping or they're not there, like in, they're in cities where it's warm and stuff. And me and my family were there. And I've, I've gone inside, and one thing that was like pretty amazing is that, you know, um, something that I couldn't explain, and I just want, like, want to go into, into details of what happened and you know, explain the surroundings so that you would, would get the idea of why it's so different for me. Because back in the day, it was like, um, I think I was in, in seventh grade when I was like 14 years old or so, or 15, like somewhere in there, like 14, 15. And I went outside and I look around, and there's this light on the ground and I'm like what you know and, and the light is like you know the, the circle is like 25 meters long like you know just like the whole thing like um it's it's not just one circle there's like five of them and I'm like okay I look at the sky and I can't see anything I mean it's cloudy uh you I cannot hear anything like my my ears are like really powerful like I can hear my neighbors talking or sneezing and something and other things so I can pick up my cat walking like in, in the kitchen and stuff uh, so, pretty loud cat. <laughs> anyway, no, no, no. Uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, I look at the surroundings, and back in the day, people were not using drones, especially in Lithuania, like, we, we're not that rich and stuff. But no drones, no planes, like, definitely, like, we don't have those technologies and stuff. And I can't see anything on the sky, but on the ground, there's lights, and they're moving. Like, there's one light here, and then they spread into, like, five different points, and they go different sides, and they're just checking, and then they go all in one. And they were just, like, scanning the ground, going from one place to another, but it was just taking over the whole field. And I'm like, whoa, pretty amazing. So, and that continued, like, for a pretty long time, like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. It just continued, like, and they were scanning the ground. They were like, I don't know who it was. I cannot explain it. Uh, but it was pretty amazing, because, you know, like, it, it wasn't a plane. Because you would be able to hear it. No drones, because back in those days, like, it wasn't that usable, especially not in Lithuania. Uh, no lies from the city. Like, no one. Like, if the city is, like, really far away, not really far away, but this is it's enough to see Milky Way in the sky. That that's, that's, says a lot for me. Uh, neighbors, they're sleeping or they're out in, in where it's warm and stuff, so no one's around. It's just, like, and I'm here standing and there's, like, lights, and I'm like, wow, pretty amazing. So I go to bed, and that was, like, one of the more uh, amazing experiences for me because like when I went to bed I actually got out and opened, got, got out of body like I went to sleep, got, got out of body I opened my eyes and I'm on a spaceship like what a coincidence I, I don't know what it was in the sky, all right? <laughs> like it's just like maybe but uh, I woke up in this in the spaceship and there's this captain like hey we've been waiting for you like he did see your sign and I'm like what? you know like so this whole thing uh, I think like it's just a big, like possibility, like they, they might have shown the like, site for me, like here on lights and stuff. I don't know, it might be coincidence, might be just my mind creating stuff, but hey, it happened, and I'm really like uh, up for that. Like, hey, that happened, it's pretty neat. And so, in that Ubi, it, it ended up being like, you know, just me talking to Captain and hearing more about uh, ET races and stuff. And why I like it so much is because back in the day when I was like 15, uh, I had my awakening at the age of 14. And like, you know, woke up and like, hey, the world is like different than what we've been told. And like, I, I changed my understanding and stuff and like started finding out more as a kid. And I really liked it. 
just like, you know, just, <laughs> it, it wasn't, the world wasn't that simple, which was like pre pretty amazing for me. And learning more about Idris going out of body, like, I liked this whole experience because after I got, got out of body after that experience, I started getting out, getting out of body like almost every night. Because when I was a kid, like, I didn't pay attention and like, dreams, subies, like, didn't matter to me. Like, I, I couldn't tell the difference and I did not know the difference. And so after that, that experience, like seeing the lights outside and I couldn't explain like how it happened and stuff because like it definitely wasn't a plane or a drone <laughs> and the lights were too big. So anyway, whatever it was, it was something that actually moved me and just being able to get our body and talk to the captain and like get more information and then go into missions like after like a next to be and next to be we were like I would basically get out of body and end up in the same spaceship and interact with people and like be able to explore and stuff and that was amazing because like it just continued for for a long time and then Richmond of 50 x he was giving me guided ubi sessions and we would like just go go on on that same spaceship and explore and engage in more activities and actually just like live the outer life which was like more than earth more than like one life and that meant so much and like right now even even if I get out of body right now, I can just think about it and end up in that spaceship and talk to those people in there. So for me, it was like pretty amazing. Also, what was neat is that I've seen more than one being, like uh, uh, not more than one being, but like more than one race. It wasn't just humans. It wasn't just you know like not. There were also like a few reptilians and uh, I don't even know what it's called those like the, like those races. But <laughs> there was like one like like a sluggish looking. Uh, it was like roundish and goes like that and like a pinkish and more like a like a sluggish or something so you can actually like you know, uh, like a jelly or whatever like I can't explain what it was like I like haven't interacted with that being uh, in talking or communication but I was like what are you and I like I literally struck my hand through his body which is probably like really rude <laughs> who does that um, and I get out and it's all like all of jelly, but it being like he he felt it, but it didn't destroy his body or like whatever. And he just looked at me and like just looking what I'm doing and stuff. And that was like pretty neat, like and and that is one being. But there's like all kinds of humanoids and different bodies, like you know, with tails and you know, like others like weird looking creatures. Like I I I, I can hardly explain because of my English and stuff, but I can actually like probably try to draw it because I'm better there. And yeah. So it's pretty amazing, like, and having some paranormal experience or something that I couldn't explain in real life, getting out of body after that, and just starting to get out of body like a whole lot more, and then interacting with other races and beings, and that's that's pretty neat. So yeah, I'm sharing it because a lot of people have no one to talk to. So if you have some weird, crazy experiences, please share in the comments. I want to know your stories. Maybe we'll create a better community where people can like be alike and you know, share more and stuff. So yeah, this is just one story. Like a lot of people know, I know that a lot of people are, are are interested in my ubis and stuff. So, you know, this is just one little thing. But yeah, th that's where like things started for me, uh, ending up in the spaceship and stuff. And I after that, like I really got into like getting out of body was like started to be super interesting. And I just wanted to do that as as often as possible. So yeah, that's my take. That's my story. <laughs> Hope you like it. Share yours, please, in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.